Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 49 of the Raid series. Now, in the previous episode, we went into Shoreline and we got that Ophthalmoscope, which led to us having um, the ability to get the thick item case, which we sold. And now we are pumping out Bitcoins like crazy with our level two Bitcoin farm. Oh, there's our Ophthalmoscope. That's big. We have work to do now. We have to get out of this raid. In this episode, I am planning to go into interchange, get a couple more kills, and then be also leveling up the Mosin or the sniper skills. So then we can move through the uh, sniper quest lines as well. And of course, we'll be trying to get shooter board in heaven on any map that we go to. Um, yeah, so pretty, pretty uh, combat oriented episode, but still getting those quests done. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So, um, as I said, we're going to be trying to get into cust uh, sorry, into interchange and get our quest done there. We also have to get a kill killer. So, the pretty much the plan I want to go for moving forward is I want to be kill. Uh, I want to be taking in a a Mosin or um, I want to take in a Mosin or a, a sniper rifle every single raid from now on. So, if we can, we will. And um, so, we'll take in the SNB with the uh, the SV ninety eight for this one. And we'll just do that every raid. We'll always just have some sort of, uh, some sort of, you know, Mosin or, or something like that. So we can actually progress through uh, leveling up the snipers. Um, in this one, we need to go into interchange and kill two players for the chumming quest, as well as we'll push towards getting um, killer down for uh, Jaeger. All right. So we got this one here. Uh, besides that, we do have to get like grenade kills and stuff like that. It's not like... Uh, we need to like go crazy over that stuff and then we do need to still forget a uh the, the tashonka and kill scabs on interchange whilst wearing a respirator so um from this point onwards with our interchange runs we need to make sure we're wearing respirators so we're just gonna be cruising around just killing scabs and then we see players that's a bonus um and we'll be running on the nighttime raids pretty much nothing too like crazy is in the way of like oh we need to like you know um speed run up the killer and do it like that if we do get the opportunity to kill killer we will but uh i'm not going to go like out of my way to make sure that you know um we're the first there if he's up sweet if we can get him sweet but uh, besides that i'm not too overly stressed um we've got the keys ready there the last thing is our bitcoin farm is now pumping out bitcoins so we just need to make sure we get that sorted every time and then um we also have the uh fuel we need to keep an eye on so put the fuel away when we get two empty fuel ca containers then we'll move on to um uh what do you call it uh making mad cases and stuff like that but i'm not trying to rush into that as for the rest of the hideout stuff uh, we do get a graphics card here um the one thing that i probably would like to do is um i might do the next stash upgrade at some point on two three um and then a piece of paper we get an intel what well, what papers just skyrocketed in price right, we still make profit on that anyway but it just keeps that cranking uh graphics card i i'm not going to go to level three graphics cards so this will guarantee sell so and then we've got the two bitcoins to sell 760k pop and yeah so i'm thinking about we might go to the next stash upgrade that's probably the only other thing that we might do just for a bit of quality life purpose um but with the bitcoin farm coming in with the with bitcoins and making money i don't really think we're going to be stressed for um for, for making money so the stash upgrade is kind of a, a nice little comfort thing and then we could just you know uh as we go along buy containers mag boxes ammo boxes and then we just go that long down down that path we can do um just for uh future is we can like stock up a little bit on certain ammos if we want to just have that little bit extra so like ap20s are really handy um and then stuff like 190 ammo from from uh peacekeeper so it resets in seven minutes one 190 is 
used for the 5.7 and M P90. So if we're going to play aggressive with a P90, it's good to have a bit of a stockpile of that because you can chew through the ammo pretty quick. But as for this one, let's get into interchange. We're going to go through the morning, which is really nice for us. Uh, we will ensure some. And happy days from there. And then let's get into the raid. All right, so we are in. I'm going to take the uh, advisor up for the initial. This is the Emicon F-Track side. It really comes down to how we want to approach this. Oh, there's a guy on top. I swear I saw him up there. I swear I saw someone up there. What was that? I'm not really sure where that shooting was. All right, let's go again. Falls it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on the bottom side here and not go up. So we can push into where Killer is from the in the middle. Where my eyes are? No. Rub my eye. I don't know what you call that. It's not itchy. It's my eye is rubbly. All right. So the guy. There's someone's obviously pushed into. Uh, Ollie. All right. If we can get up. Interesting. Generally not where I'd want to fight from. That's not good. I should have got that kill.
We're not really in a rush here. And we're out of position if we go up that ramp. Like, really badly. Go for it real quick. Get up. Get up the fucking ramp. Come on, as if I didn't kill him then. Did we get anyone then? Nope. So much going on around here. Coming down. <sighs> I almost want to shock the gun now. We're not really able to use it. Out of ammo. Now we're gonna kill scams. I was running a Makarov. Handle with this. I 
Um, it's a bit fucked now. The good thing is, like, what's that? Four players we know are dead at least. SA 58. Holy moly. Do this real quick. Quicker. I know this rig's smaller, but I just want insurance for audit. Is this guy running naked with an M? An SA58? I'm just now useless. Are right, we holding back for a little bit? I just want to go down and try and see if that other guy down the bottom had better armor. We're literally fighting the whole map right here. Oh, he's been totally stripped now. Probably not the best spot to do this, but hey, you want to live forever? So now seeing that half the map's dead, I think if we can get an armor, I'm happy to go for trying to get scavs. I really want to try and get this player if possible. I don't know if he's there. Ah. Go for some scam kills. We'll also go for um I also got for some Tishonka too. I'm gonna get a little bit close in case it's over 60 meters.
Now, if we wanted to make money right now, computers are like insanely good for making money. No longer OWA because we're not wearing any armor. Um, I did have that 1739 down here to reload, but we'll be right. On. Oh, this fine. All right, so objective is now to go into Goshen. We'll check for um Tushonka, and we'll try and get some scav kills. Also, it would be nice to get um killer. I don't think he's up now. Now the whole store can actually have Tushonka. We have car repaired on. We do. Right. The whole store can have Tashonka, but the certain areas I feel like have more. Mm, we'll take the car battery for now, but I'll put your instantly overweight. I suppose we can actually just craft them now too. You know, I'm fucking that off. Pop the hot rod. Now we honestly can't mess about too much with these scavs. The fact that I have zero armor. Oh no. Be 8.5 mil buckshot on these. They're actually really good. Well, hold on to the Tashonka, uh, the uh, scav hat, uh, Yashankas. Actually, no, we don't need to. All right, let's see if there's any scavs in the middle. Keeper's door's been opened. We could honestly reset and actually go in with an armor. Like, it wouldn't be the most horrific idea. Generally, have a lot of scabs up the top, around the middle. Nope. 
the next best place we can get scav kills is located at the front of the mall. I'm going to quickly check skills. we chew through that a bit. It's not... Let's get out, out of position. Well, we're out of position now. I don't want to stick around out of position. If we can help it. Couple to Shonka. We've got Chumming done. We can get another survive under our belt. Couple scav kills. I'm guessing that was a player scav that just spawned in. He's running straight towards the tech stores to see what he can pick up. Heading out. Alright, someone's already looted this. Just checking to see if I had something like a um uh SJ six or something. I, I didn't think that di I did, but you know how sometimes you just forget what you have on you? Like an SJ6, just to be able to run that a little bit faster and further, and well, not faster but further. Less risk of dying on the way to the extract. Someone's looted that. about there. Big win. I don't even know how many players we killed that one. I think we killed three. Shot at like six. Shot at two in the middle there. We shot one of there. So yeah, we shot at six players. Killed three of them. That was chaotic. Um, I tried to push towards killer at start. Obviously didn't get uh, close to him. Shit just went mental. And yeah, I did kill four in the end. I wonder if that's a grenade kill. I got a grenade kill. Um, so yeah, the guy generic died to a grenade. So yeah, we ran up to the middle. A uh, lot of shit going down in the middle. And then um, we kind of just pushed towards when I thought I could do a good third party, which we uh, we, we shot at him, but I stuffed a lot of the shots. Um, he ran off. We fought more people around there. And then we just focused on getting our questing done. Um, the guy that was shooting at us from generic, um, I threw a grenade and killed him. So we've got a grenade kill done. So that's one less grenade kill we have to worry about. And uh, we just hit level 39 as well. So 140,000 XP to go. Heal up. Uh, we can hand in the Tushonka. We uh, can complete the chumming quest, which is a, is a win. And uh, we can move forward from there. So pretty happy so far. I want to get back into interchange most likely. Um, just because then that way we can focus on getting those. Uh, oh, really, we just need to get killer and the Tushonka and the, and the scav kills. I do think this will unlock Skiers Quest, Silent Caliber, and Setup. So if we want to go into um, doing some PvP on Customs, that will definitely be opened up from here. It is bullshit as well, actually. Oh, so we need to do bullshit before we get set up. Oh, maybe we should do bullshit. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I think it is three teapots in a vase, so we'll get that there. Sell. And those over. We'll hold on to that one. Sell them. 
meds up the top. Four, six, seven, eight. And uh, we're going to need an armor for that too. If I want to do bullshit, I really do want to do it during the night time though. How far from the next sniper level? Hmm. Alright, so if we were to go... Do bullshit, then we'd need to take in... Mm, Alright, we're going to take a hex grid. Because there's no reason why we shouldn't be going geared in, in geared now. With that Bitcoin farm and how often we're playing, like one a day. We should be able to afford good gear, so... think what ammo is in this m80 we aren't rolling in the dollars i'm just trying to think do we go customs if we do if we go customs i want to leave the sc98 behind maybe actually no we're going to hand in the the SD98 for bullshit, don't we? SV98. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sign. Alright, we're going customs. SV98. I'm tempted just to buy another roller just in case we feel like doing. Ugh. This is not needed for Kappa. It's not really worth it. Oh, fuck it. Let's, let's not. It's not worth it. Alright, leave this behind. Customs keys. But an SV98, um, I'll leave the side off it and, the, and take the mag out. And then we've got to do this quest. So this quest, let's be honest, it's a pretty rough one. So what I want to do instead is I'm going to take a night vision. And we'll go from there. As a solo player, this can actually be quite a frustrating task. So... What I also want to do, just to avoid any risk, I'm going to take 7,000 rubles to take the car extract if we've got the option. We'll take it. So, into customs we go, night time. Objective, we're going to go pick up the thing and then, like, the thing from the, the flash, fake flash drive and then we'll hand in, go to the dorms and hand it in. This can be really, really smooth. This can be really rough sometimes. So, we're going in geared. We're not messing about. Let's get it done. All right, so night time customs. This, this is like, when you're doing quests on customs, this is what you really should try and do go night time if you can't afford it get some night vision um the later you are in the white the more frustrating and difficult it can be so just take that into account but we are in and we are running directly to the bridge we're not going to try and find any scabs we're going to take one very very small detour which is to just click on the power so we can take another extract if we want to and we will check for the Oli Logistics key. Lord Nikita, Lord of Ballistics, give us the key to Oli Ballistics. Oli Ballistics, Oli Logistics. Nope. Alright, so the way we're going to do this, we're literally just going to run a straight line down the center. The only thing that will stop this is if we run into a scav. Should have brought an SJ6 for this. Just for the fact that I wouldn't mind being able to just run away. A lot easier. Now, with this quest, if we kill a scav... Oh my god, are you serious? If we kill a scab, we lose the quest, so... Got shot in the back of the head by a Vepper Hunter.
So, der hält man. Shots hitting over there, ricocheting off stuff. Now, if we get to dorms and there's a scav in dorms, we're going to have to try and kite them out. It'll be really frustrating. Scav there, so we're going to have to go wide. And you should do a little check. Our campfire is up. So if we need to take the campfire, we can. Just heal my head. We're nearly there. Flash drive. Now, you could actually plant stuff and then go back there after you get the flash drive. Like, you could plant the first tree, then go back. But if you kill any scav, you fail the quest. The upside is, if you die, you don't fail the quest. So, you can actually plant all three items and then die... And then run back into an interchange run and still not kill a scav and you'll finish the mission. So there is the, that side of benefit. If you, there is no, say Rashala's on the top floor and there's no way you could possibly get up there. Well, then you would have that option. To just run out of the raid and, you know, go back. Oh God. Scav right there and I'm just running straight past him. Okay. Shows you the difference between some scavs being like God tier and other scavs being... Gonna go straight to third floor. Now, the reason I should have those lights, it just makes it a lot darker. And a lot easier for you to hide if a player's running in a hallway or something like that. If they don't have night vision, so... First item, I think this is the flash drive that goes down first. Double tapping tab, just to quickly put the next one down. This used to be 30 seconds each. It used to be so brutal. I've changed it, I think, 15 seconds now. This quest also is a quest that I generally recommend people doing as a squad. If you are looking for a squad to do it with, consider joining my Discord server. 45,000 people in there. And uh, looking for help. Channel can really help out with that. Cool. Get out of here. Harry's not there, but we do know the campfire's up. When you get this quest to this point, you don't need to stick... You don't want to stick around. You want to get out of the server. 
Right, we're just hitting the seven minute mark now, so there won't be a run through. You can hand this quest in even if it is a run through, I do believe. So. Get across here. Straight down to the campfire. It's actually going to line up really well. We'll do um, next week for our PvP stuff. We'll focus on Gren Grenadier and set up Silent Caliber. Cool. That's that part done. Oh, that's good. Literally did nothing, just ran straight to where we need to get a uh, quest item, picked that up, dropped it off, and got out of that raid. That that quest can take ages if you get unlucky. If you get a little bit unlucky, that one can just be a really, really frustrating quest. So, glad we got that done. Now, moving forward, we've got probably time for one more quick raid, and I'm going to try and redeem myself from a raid that we, can, we did a little while ago. So, what I'm going to do. First thing, I'm going to hand in the bullshit quest. Once the bullshit quest is done, um, I'm going to put together a Mosin. I'm going to go into factory, and I'm going to kill everyone on factory. I could even go nighttime factory, but I'm not on daytime factory. Um, Alright, we're going to put this there. Sell the Ash-12. I don't know why I took in that ammo, by the way. Um... Put that there for now. Send BMO. Buy a heap of that. And then, do we have a Mosin? Do not. Alright. Ski up. Cool. That led the setup. So setup and Silent Caliber we'll do together next week. That will be on the on the PvP side of things. We'll just be running around trying to kill as many players as we can for that. Uh, and then Mosin time. So I'm going to go Mosin. That's probably the Mosin inventory. Where's the Mosin inventory? Yeah. Okay, let's go to Carbine. Some ammo in our pockets. Some extra ammo, uh, extra meds to be safe. Oh, I'm going to take a propital. And the objective is to get next level of snipers. We can start working on some other quests. Might be like, why is he getting so many propitals? They're actually really good. They work as a painkiller and heal you for one health a second for, uh, I think it's five minutes. You get um, 300 health back. So it's just a nice little cheeky one to have. Right, and we'll heal up. And we're ready to go. We're going to factory. We're going to kill everyone. It's going to be a, going to be a glorious day. So if my camera cuts out, I think it's overheating. Let's just put the aircon on. I've tried everything I can. <sighs> See how we go. I am sweating though. So it, must be, it is warm in here. All right, we're in. Fuck me. Well, the camera died. I hit him once. A joke. 
I honestly, I thought the first one was a clean hit. How many shots did he miss? Though? I did blow in dodging. That sucks. It's all right. Did we cook what we could? Um, I'm, apologies about what's going on with this camera. I, I think the capture card's overheating. It's the only it, it's the only thing I can think of. Like I was out of breath because I literally just sprinted across the house. We're back we're back up and running again. I literally sprinted across the house, turned the aircon on, sat down just as the body loading into raid. I'm literally trying everything I can to get this camera working. So look, we just deposited some got gear to some low level label some shit. I don't know. He's probably doing punishment for the part six with FBDs. All right, camera's up again. Look, I'm just going to try and finish this here nice and quick. So, guys, thanks for watching another episode. I really do apologize about the camera issues. I'm going to try and work on it, figure out what's going on. Um, it started happening a couple of episodes ago, and I'm drawing everything I can. And on dogs barking in the background, which is lovely as well. Um, but, yeah, guys, usual drill. Smash the like button. Comment for the YouTube algorithm. It's been really good that you guys have been so supportive about that. Um, yeah, really do appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, notification bell to keep up to date for the latest content. And, uh, uh, of course... Um, I, I live stream every day. If you uh, are watching this as it comes out, most likely I am live on Twitch right now. So go down the link below, give me a follow of decks. Come say good day, ask me any questions you can. I'll try my best to uh, answer them in real time. Camera cut out, is cutting in and out again. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Um, so yeah, lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.